Let me point out here, we are researching for ourselves. We strongly encourage for everyone to do their own research. There is no one way to approach this topic or topics associated with it. Our point is to bring relevant info, providing links with regards to this subject to allow any and all to research independently for themselves. Who was Bill Cooper? Besides being a father, husband, son, and brother, he was the author of Behold a Pale Horse. We could also say he was a whistleblower, a truther, a conspiracy theorist. His words are from over 26 years ago, and his resume is most impressive. In 1961, he enlisted in the Air Force. He was honorably discharged from the Air Force in 1965. He was also awarded the National Defense Medal and the Air Force Good Conduct Medal during this time. In December of 1965, he joined the Navy as a recruit chief company commander. He also served in Vietnam. He was sent to Naval Security and Intelligence School for Internal Security Specialist. He also received Q security clearance in the Navy. He served with CINCPA CFLT intelligence, becoming a designated SPECAT operator. He earned the Naval Commendation Medal with Combat V CINCPA CFLT in 1970. He was then discharged from the Navy in 1972. Mr. Cooper went on to earn a degree in photography. He served as chief instructor of the Coastal School of Deep Sea Diving. He also served as head of the Mixed Gas Deep Saturation Diving Department and instructor of underwater photography for the College of Oceaneering. He served as admissions representative for Airco Technical Institute. He also served as director of Eldelphi Business College as executive director of Eldelphi Business College, also as director of Eldelphi Business College, and as national marketing coordinator of United Education and Software, also as executive director of Pacific Coast Technical Institute, and executive director of National Te Technical College. He also owned and operated Absolute Image Gallery of Studio of Fine Art Photography. But I feel the most profound thing he should be remembered for was being a God-fearing man who believed in our Constitution and our Republic. A modern-day Cicero, if you will. He was on a mission, a mission to wake up America before it was too late. He was ringing the bell of truth for all of us who wished to hear. What he had to say must have been extremely dangerous to those he was exposing considering he was murdered for speaking out. What he left behind for us is to pick up where he left off in this pursuit of truth. Will we heed the call? Will we finish sounding the bell of alarm that Mr. Cooper started ringing many years ago? Will we not allow his death to have been in vain? Dear God, I hope not. I pray not. Thank you, Mr. Cooper, for every effort you put forth to warn us. We can no longer not bear the responsibility of neglecting our constitutional republic, for we have been told and warned. In his own words from Behold a Pale Horse, this is a direct quote from Bill Cooper. I believe, therefore, that a grand game of chess is being played on a level that we can barely imagine, and we are the pawns. Pawns are valuable only under certain circumstances and are frequently sacrificed to gain an advantage. 
Anyone who has studied military strategy is familiar with the concept of sacrifice. Those who have seriously studied history have probably discovered the real reason we go to war on a regularly scheduled basis. Before reading this book, I advise you to play at least two complete games of chess. You must learn the rules they play by. You must realize objectively that some pieces are more valuable than others and that the king is the most valuable of all. You cannot learn reality if you get caught up in the fantasy that life's not fair. You must come to know that the ultimate outcome of the game is the only thing that counts. You were lied to when you were told that it does not matter whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. Winning in the world of the elite is everything. Indeed, it's the only thing. The power elite intend to win. My research has shown at this point that the future laid out for us may be just about impossible to change. I do not agree with the means by which the powerful few have chosen for us to reach the end. I do not agree that the end is where we should end at all. But unless we can wake the people up from their sleep, nothing short of a civil war will stop the planned outcome. With everything that we know now, it's amazing how much insight Mr. Cooper had more than 26 years ago. He is one of the first whistleblowers in my lifetime, before WikiLeaks, social networking, and even the internet. It is my hope that one day he will be honored and recognized for the true patriot he was. He paid the ultimate price that any patriot could pay, his life. They murdered him in November 2001 to quell the truth. However, the truth always has a way of shining through. Please check out his website. It's Hour of the Time. This website is dedicated to Mr. Cooper's work. You will find a free copy of his book, Behold a Pale Horse, on PDF. There is also a free copy of his autopsy report that you can read for yourself. Please check out his audio series, Hour of the Time, Mystery Babylon, from above website or on YouTube by Occult Agenda. Just so you know, my background is primarily education, not graphic design. My goal here is to bring relevant news, current events, and occasional opinion pieces. All of the links will be in the description box for my videos. Please check out my scripture videos because I believe we are in a spiritual battle every day and nothing prepares us better than God's word. This channel is not monetized. Searching for the truth should cost nothing. The priority for me will always be getting the information out there. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.